Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and thank you for joining me today for a new series, Timberborn. Now, for those that aren't aware, this is a city building slash survival game based on the world of beavers. So we're gonna get started here. We're gonna start a new game. Uh, so this is early access. It's, it's very affordable. Uh, my shout out to a few uh, fellow content creators in City Planner Plays and as well as uh, Ray Kitty. She's just started a series as well. So we'll kind of play along with her here. Uh, definitely, I, I will link her, her channel down below. Highly recommend you go follow her out too. She's a, she's a hoot and uh, she's got a lovely kitty named S'mores and, she's, and hence the name of hers. A uh, little uh, town is called S'moresville's. I don't know if I have anything as cute as we move forward here, but uh, we will see. So right now, uh, there are options for two. Now, I've only dabbled with this, so I don't have access to the, the Iron Teeth. I've not reached uh, a level to get that. So this is, I'm very new to this game, so it's gonna be quite interesting. But cute little beaver here, folk tales. Uh, you know, nice little model, comfort food, and sturdy wood. Yeah, I think those are, you know, good things to live by. Um, so they're hardworking, easygoing, expert farmers, and respect nature which is a different play style through, uh, as opposed to the Iron Teeth, which we can't play today. So let's hop on next. We're gonna play the Plains map. It is the recommended map to start with. There's a bunch of other default maps. You can create your own and so, but we're gonna start with the Plains maps. Uh, we will play on normal. Uh, definitely not going to up and ramp things up yet. You know, I think it's a great idea to just kind of start where the developers of the game uh, think you should start. So we will uh, uh, get into this here. The very first thing that we need to do is name our settlement. So uh, I'm generally not a great uh, at naming things, uh, but we're gonna play off a satirical site here. I'm a Canadian and there is a site called The Beaverton. Uh, so we're not, we're just gonna obviously just play off, off of that. And we'll just call it Beaver Town. It, uh, I know, probably not very original, but welcome to Beaver Town. Uh, so let's hit okay. As we can see, we've got our, our beavers. We're making sure we're gonna pause this. Be used to the controls here. So there are our beavers. So welcome to Beaver Town. So when the game starts, uh, you can see here we have our district and our district center. Uh, I think this is what employs our builders. Uh, and we have our map here. Now, the game is a survival. Now, there are no natural predators uh, to the beavers, but the survival is with respect to water because water is life and obviously beavers live in water. So we have this river that kind of flows down and around past our little colony here and out and down. Now at some point uh, throughout this cycle, a drought will commence. So we need to be ready for that. So, and then this just repeats and the droughts get worse and worse. Uh, we start with uh, seven beavers, uh, seven adult beavers and four little child beavers uh, that will grow up and become adults. So only the adults can work. Uh, we have no accommodations, so we have unfortunately 11 homeless uh, beavers. Two are working, which is our two builders, five are unemployed. Uh, yeah, we have some food, no wood and water. So our objective for this episode is to get the base of our colony uh, going. Now I do have the tutorial on, but I, I will turn it off because uh, I have played through it. And so we will disable it. So let's, this, this will make it a little bit challenging for us. So we look around the map. Uh, we have access to basically this, this area here at this point, and I think we can go up a little, but the green area is where we basically have, you know, where things can grow. We will send a beaver over here to start off and demolish this. 
we will get our road set network set up first. Now I have the game paused simply because time time uh, brings us to uh, basically the drought at some point. So I want to get the base set up. So these roads cost us nothing. Uh, we'll set up a sim simple T intersection. I do want to make sure I don't forget to set aside space for certain things. Like we have a staircase up there. Uh, let's see what else do we want. I think we'll probably want a path eventually running through here. So I'll leave that as a bit of a reminder. In fact, we will at least also bring that down to connect. Come in and there are resources that we need to collect and also generate. In terms of food, we do have 130 berries, which are basically collected from bushes like this, but we can also set up farms. Yet yeah, don't you know, beavers can farm. And of course, what you do know beavers most for is logging and cutting down trees. So trees will allow us to build structures and expand our colony and make it better. We need to start off by placing a lumberjack flag. Kind of come around here and you kind of see how far things can reach by the outline. So that's, that's pretty good there. This will get everything up in this corner. So we're gonna place one there. And I think we'll come down and I gotta make sure, this is where I got a bad habit, is we've got that little blue arrow uh, and that's where it needs to connect to a path. So if I was to put it over here, it presently has no ability to connect to a path. So if we look, because we'll eventually be able to cross, let's, I wanna leave a little space down here by the shore we will put one here. And the next thing we'll do is we will get a food gatherer. And I think we will put it up here. I think that's good. So we'll get the game going and we will get our busy beavers uh, busy. We'll get up to level two. Kind of see here, Verniga. Vernesia? Vernesia is going to come and get to work here. And he's first gonna destroy our barrier. Good job. Which will allow water to get into uh, this area. And we'll eventually dam that off. Uh-oh, what's wrong here? Nothing, oh, here's the other important thing uh, that we need to do. He currently has nothing to do. Chat, Sharuda, Sharuda? So we're going to need to come to cut trees. Uh, and we need to mark a tree cutting area. And we will just do this, then cut down those trees. These trees will regrow, while the fact that uh, this is area is green. We'll also come down and say, you can harvest uh, these trees as well. There we go. Now we're gonna need a spot to put our logs. So we have storage options. One is for goods and one is for logs. So we will put one for the logs. Hmm. We'll put it here. So this actually takes, okay, that takes no logs, to, which makes sense, but it'll store up to 180 logs and all these guys, oh, look at them go. Look at them go. Uh, the other thing we're going to start is we need water. So we actually have no water at the moment. So we are going to put a water pump right there to start. And we'll need a spot to store the water. So there's a large water tank, which we don't have the science. Yes, don't you know it? Beavers are smart and scientific. So but they do know at least to build a small water tank. So we are gonna come and leave a little off space off there. We're gonna start with three. In fact, we'll make four. We're gonna do four water tanks. 
This is gonna become our high priority. So we have the ability from a construction point of view to mark that as high priority. Uh, so as soon as these sleepy little uh, beavers, uh, and sadly homeless little beavers, wake up, they can get to work. They all have needs, they got basic needs. Obviously hunger, thirst, sleep. They get happier when they have shelter. It adds life expectancy and obviously a little uh, pick up in their step. And other things like carrots, which will be the first thing we will plant as to life expectancy, which would be very, very good. So now come into food and we're gonna build a farmer's hut or a farmhouse, I should say. And we will then plant a lot of crops right in this area to keep our beavers well fed. So we got plenty of food, but that food will eventually run out. And we're gonna need a whole bunch for a uh, coming drought. So everyone's hard at work. Uh, we now have water and currently really it'll hold a bit of water. So these will make sure beavers aren't thirsty. And now, oh, thank goodness. We now have at least one of our small water tanks to hold even more water, which we'll need these for the coming drought. We're gonna to have to start thinking about how we're gonna prepare for that. Oh, the poor beavers are all thirsty. There's water, uh, there's, mm, we need water, more water. Uh, maybe we should consider, and we'll slow this down, adding another water tank. Uh, can I? Uh, it's under pass maybe. Oh, we don't have the science. Oh, I would have loved to put another one right here, but let's put another water pump there. And we need to add a path to connect the little door there. So this should allow us to keep our poor beavers. Oh, I'm sorry, beavers, we're getting water. Uh, well, you'll get the water. I'm not getting the water. I've told you where you can get water. So it's up to you. Get the water. Why aren't you sleeping? Shouldn't you be sleeping? I haven't told you because we do have the ability to make them work. So if we come down, they're all just playing night owls at this point. I get it. You're homeless. I'm not forcing you to work. But I could. But let's speed things up because we need to get to the next day. We go up three speed here. Oh, there we go. They're now sound asleep and sadly thirsty. Get in the water. Please drink. Okay, they're dealing with their thirst. Oh, we need to get this built. This needs to be built next, high priority. Everything's gonna be a priority. We need the logs. What are you doing? Unemployed. Oh, you know what we can do? We can add more workers. We can do this. This will make things build faster. And since they're unemployed, they might as well get to work. We will need to start thinking about getting a dam. So I have seen, um, this is a great area to dam because we can basically get these trees. We'd wanna keep everything as live as possible. Now we have two options. This is actually the shortest distance coming across, but you notice it's actually uh, deep as well. So we can't actually get there. Uh, sorry, we can, but it's probably best for us to look to build um, a dam going across uh, this area right here. 
But I think that's what we're gonna have to do next episode because we really, really, really need to get our base colony going. And that will allow us to survive the very first uh, drought. Oh, but you know what helps us survive the drought? And it might already be too late. So I pause things here. We will put a dam in right there. And we will prioritize this dam to hold in as much water as possible in this little pocket area. As you can see, it's it's not very high. So the water level in the river is already starting to go down. I think a drought is going to come soon. We'll get a warning, uh, but we're not there yet, thankfully. So our beavers are really, really busy, really super busy. We now have, oh, here, this is why I wanted to get that going. Eh, ah, I feel like playing whack-a-mole here. Hug, Kukuth. Man, these are really uh, weird random names. Uh, hard at work, hard at work. This will help make sure we have food. Now there's none in stock. I'm not exactly sure how much crops can actually be held here. Uh, but we will look at building one more thing. And that is a small warehouse. We're gonna put the small warehouse. We'll leave a bit of space for us to potentially remove that uh, gathering post at a later date. So once we get this built, it'll allow us to hold a whole lot of things. And most important for us are any additional berries and carrots because, you know, we obviously need spots to store our food. Our water level is not that good. We have 50 some water. This is not yet built. We need materials, but you know, the, the beavers are doing what they can. I wonder if I should make another, uh, one more. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do another lumberjack flag. At least for now, we can remove it later. But I think it's probably more important for us to get logs and as opposed to saving space for something later. The logs are going to be very, very key for us. In fact, what can we do? We're going to remove a worker from here. Make sure that is well staffed. Everyone, uh, all the adults are busy, including the kids. Kids are grown up. we got one more kid. Uh, Jolin, Jojin to uh, grow up, become an adult. Now, unfortunately, until we add housing, uh, these beavers will not reproduce. They are a little bit shy and like their privacy to add to their family, so. But I'm really looking to save the logs and maybe to see if I can get uh, the dam uh, built before the housing, but we'll see. Uh, but we will see as Time marches on. Things are progressing quite well. We now have 30 logs. Uh, our food situation is still a little poor, but we are almost there ready to harvest those carrots. I wonder, uh, I'm very tempted, but I think we'll prep to get to this spot right here. So that's going to require a few things and mainly a path. So we'll get a path going and then we're going to come in and tell the beavers to remove these two trees. And so they won't regrow and this will allow me to connect a, a path there for the future. What I'm unclear on is will they at least take the wood? or is the wood lost from the destruction of these two trees? So we'll see whether the 
the beavers go away with the log. I think we can speed things up. No, uh, it's now gone. So it does not look like it. So very mindful of if you are trying to destroy your resources like that, do not count on any uh, benefit from that destruction. So we're coming along good here. Uh, we have food. Our water's doing okay. Uh, it should fill up relatively soon. Both our water pumps are working hard. And this should be enough with 11 beavers to make it through the very first drought. We have a nice log pile being generated. I don't think there's anything else. Let's have a look, see. Uh, we could start housing. I do want to hold off on that till next episode. We have plenty of water, food. Food is great. Um, some food is closer to being harvested because it was obviously planted first, but we're doing good there. Plenty of wood being collected. We will eventually need uh, a lumber mill, which will require power, uh, and then a forester as well. A lot of things. Oh, you know what we should do? This, I think, is the last thing we're going to do, is we're going to add an inventor, and we're going to put that uh, right here. And without the inventors, in fact, we're going to make sure we have two of these, because we're going to need the science. These buildings. Oops, and hang on, I'm gonna pause it because I missed and I did not correctly identify where that building was going. So we come in, delete building. Now, if you delete a building that has been built like this one, you lose the resources to build it. And I think in this case, you'd actually lose all these logs that are stored there. But in this case, uh, the beavers haven't started building this. So I'm gonna delete it and allow me to get one step closer. So that gives us a little more space and we'll get things running again. It is nighttime and we will prioritize this one inventor building. That's a nice little community. I like it, I like it. It's looking good. We have all the necessities at this point except housing. Uh, we have a nice little farm area. We've got beavers collecting the berries. We've got busy beavers collecting wood. It's probably their favorite thing. Although for the runners in us, there is something that will come at some point in this uh, playthrough. Uh, we have plenty of water. We're doing good. And then the really smart ones, uh, we will soon have, oh, it's actually built. We just have no unemployed beavers. So I think what we can do is we can unemploy one of them. Huh. What can we do? I want to make sure we got plenty of food. Farmers are busy, busy harvesting. I want as much wood collected as possible. You know what? We can shut down one of our pumps because all the water stations are full. And there we go. Our very first beaver who is going to help save society here and allow us to get to onto bigger and better things. So with that, I think we're gonna leave it here. Uh, we're well on our way to uh, surviving, I think the first drought. Plenty of other work to do, uh, like trying to build a dam, get them housing. But we have some very busy, hardworking beavers here in Beaver Town. So with that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please, if you like this uh, series, uh, please join me as I'll be producing additional content. Uh, and of course, I do have some other series on the go, including City Skylines and Farming Simulator 2022. So with that, thanks very much. And until next time. Bye for now.